All right, chip of the day. Everybody likes chip of the day. So we have a Maxim chip. This is kind of a specialized chip. Three channel high definition video filter. So uh, let's look at the box diagram, makes more sense. So it has three channels. Input, there's some type of uh, uh, input buffering, then a 33 megahertz uh, low pass filter, then a plus six dB amplifier, and then output, and it's uh, RGB, right? So it's three, three uh, video channels. It's in an SO8 package. It is the Max 11500, 11500. And uh, through channel, sixth order filter, six dB plus output buffers, AC DC inputs, blah, 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 blah. Output buffer drive for 150 ohm loads. Yada, yada, yada. Five volts. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's hook one up. So how are we gonna test this one? It goes to uh, 33 megahertz and above, so we need something fast. So I'm gonna use my spectrum analyzer as both input and output. So here's the chip, okay? So I have five volts going into it, and I've got my uh, spectrum analyzer on clip leads, all right? So this is the input to the chip. Let's connect uh, the input directly to the input. So this, so this is the output of the tracking generator. This is the input to the spectrum analyzer, all right? So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna sweep between zero hertz and 100 megahertz. We're going to take, this is, a, this is like an S21. We're gonna normalize it. So we're gonna store the ref and normalize it. So now we get a flat line uh, right here at zero dBm, all right? And uh, we have minus 10 dB of output. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, the Reference position up a ways. Let's go up to. Let's go up to here, and uh, then we will uh, move to the output, and we should see a plus six dB of gain, and we should see a filter roll off. So uh, we're getting more than six dB of gain. We're getting. Uh, almost 12 dB there, and it comes down here to about 7 dB, so it's overdoing its spec. Now, I'm not loading it down, so it may actually drop if I load it with 150 ohms. Uh, in fact, let's do that. I think that's a better thing to do. Okay, while you watch, I'm gonna add 150 ohms to the output. And there we go. Oh, that makes it look a little nicer. It's still uh, it's still exceeding its uh, performance though, but it did flatten out at the top here. I have one marker set at 33 megahertz, which it says the filter is, and one set there at around the uh, zero dB, uh, zero dBm point. Uh, let's see here, marker two, um, marker two, is about 38 megahertz. 38 megahertz is where it goes back to zero dBm with zero gain. So there you go. Uh, it's a nice little part if that's what you need. Um, it has a nice gain and a, and a fast roll off. Let me take a picture of this. Save this. Uh, let's see here, let's back up. I'll save that. Now here, I'll give you a picture here. Make it look real nice on the screen. All right, that was chip of the day, a Max 11500.